everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be working on my travel scrapbook journal for our memorable trip to Morocco in 2019, specifically in the cities of Rabat, Marrakesh, and Casablanca. If you haven't seen my previous video on journaling our time in Fez, be sure to check it out for tips on how I piece together memories without a written journal during a trip. The link is in the description box below. Now, let's get started on our journey through Rabat, Marrakesh, and Casablanca. Day 7 of our tour, we arrived in the beautiful capital city of Rabat. Our first stop was the Hassan Tower. This unfinished minaret built in the 12th century stands as a symbol of what was intended to be the world's largest mosque. Right next to the tower is the mausoleum of Muhammad V, a stunning example of modern Alawite dynasty architecture. Inside, the tombs of King Muhammad V and his two sons rest in peace. The lavish elegant building is rich in details, definitely worth a visit when in the Moroccan capital. After immersing ourselves in history, we enjoyed a relaxing lunch and coffee at a charming local cafe and open-air restaurant, soaking in the atmosphere of this coastal city. It was delightful to see the touristic fishing boats along the Beauregard River. Now let's journal about this experience in Rabat. Before I start, I prepare the journaling and art supplies that I'm planning to use so that I won't waste time looking for them when I'm in the creative flow. Before I decorate my scrapbook journal page, I usually think about what story I want to tell. This guides me in terms of the decoration theme, choice of colors, and overall aesthetics. For example, a Japan travel journal might have a whimsical theme with pastel colors and kawaii motifs. While I want this Morocco adventure to have a vintage vibe. Please refer to my video how to start a scrapbook travel journal for more ideas and tips. To capture the nostalgic and timeless essence of Morocco, I'm going for a vintage aesthetic with warm earthy tones. I'll incorporate elements like patterns, calligraphic scripts, and motifs inspired by the Moroccan architecture and textiles. The choice of embellishments will also reflect this vintage theme. I might use vintage style travel stamps and stickers. By establishing the vintage Moroccan inspired theme from the start, all the decorative elements will come together cohesively to transport the viewer back in time and immerse them in the rich cultural atmosphere we experienced during our Moroccan adventure. Here, I'm playing around with the photos to see where I can position them on the spread. To have more writing space, I'm planning to paste two photos back to back and add them as a tip in. Thank you. 
after adding the photos, I'd like to incorporate decorative accents. This Pepin Press European Tile Sticker Booklet is great because it matches our Moroccan aesthetics. Next, I'll be adding the word Rabat on her page using a label sticker and this alphabet stamps with a vintage style font. With the roller date stamp, I'll be adding the date of October 25, 2019. Then to mark our stops during the day, I'm adding this whimsical stamps from Sakura Lala. <laughs> Using a green colored marker pen, I'm writing the name of the site or location, then putting a border around that place to make it pop. Here's our finished spread capturing the sights and experiences of our day in Rabat. A 
As we continued our bus journey, our tour guide played the classic film Casablanca to give us a preview of the iconic city we would visit on day 8. We arrived at our hotel at Las Asni, Marrakesh late at night. After checking in, we strolled to the nearby Menara Mall for dinner at Biwok Chinese Restaurant. The vibrant lights, busting crowds, and dancing fountain outside the mall were a perfect end to end our day. Now let's journal about our bus travel from Rabat to Marrakesh. Here I have a map of Morocco. I'll be adding it to our spread. And I'm also adding this photo of the film Casablanca that we watched on the bus to give us a preview of the iconic city we would visit on day 8. We were going to visit a location that is memorable from the film. I'll use this now playing stand to add a decorative accent to the photo. I'm planning to use this label sticker as a writing space. And to finish off our page, I'm adding more stickers like a hotel and a bus icon. Now here's our finished bread, capturing the journey from Rabat to Marrakesh and the excitement of the upcoming Casablanca leg of our Moroccan adventure.
The next morning, we kick off our Marrakesh sightseeing tour with a visit to the stunning Bahia Palace. This 19th century palace with its beautiful gardens and intricately decorated rooms is a true masterpiece of Moroccan architecture. Next, we explore the famous Dijemaa El Efna Square. This bustling marketplace is a sensory overload with its vibrant colors and endless stalls selling everything from spices to souvenirs. We also visited a local cooperative where argan oil is made. It was fascinating to see the traditional methods of production and of course we couldn't resist buying some to take home. Now let's journal about our Marrakesh experience. To start off, I'm adding the word Marrakesh on the leftmost part of our spread using this alphabet stamp set from Sakura Lala. the photos, I'll be stamping this location icon before writing the name of each place we visited. I'll be embellishing my page using travel theme stamps. Using my fountain pen, here I'm journaling about our experiences in Marrakesh, describing the sights, sounds, and energy of this captivating city. With the photos, stamps, and handwritten notes, whenever I will revisit this spread, I know it will transport me back to the magic of Marrakesh and the incredible sights we witnessed during our sightseeing tour. journey continued to Casablanca. Unfortunately, it was rainy, windy, and foggy so we didn't have a clear view of the Hassan II Mosque. Next, we visited the iconic Rick's Cafe. This replica of the cafe from the movie Casablanca is a nostalgic tribute to the classic film and a must visit for any fan. After a day of exploring, we checked in at Hotel Farah Tanger where we enjoyed a lovely dinner included in our stay. As a starting point for my Casablanca page, I'm stamping the word Casablanca at the top of the page using this alphabet stamp I've used in our previous pages. In our visit to Reek's Cafe, I'll be incorporating this vintage camera stamp which I've pre-stamped on a piece of craft paper for a distressed look.
moving on to our next Casablanca spread, I'll be using this ephemera pieces I've gathered from the hotel where we stayed, such as stationary paper, a coaster, and a business card. I'll also include a photo of our hotel room to capture the accommodation aspect of our Moroccan adventure. Using a brown ink, I'll journal about our experience in Casablanca describing the Grand Hassan II Mosque despite the foggy weather and our visit to the iconic Rick's Cafe sharing how it felt to step into a piece of cinematic history. And that's a wrap for our Moroccan adventures in Rabat, Marrakesh, and Casablanca, Morocco. I hope you enjoyed reliving these memories with me as I work on my travel scrapbook journal. Now, I have a question for you. Do you prefer to journal during your travels or after you return home? What works best for you in capturing those special moments? Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more travel journaling videos. And if you're looking for more inspiration and ideas, check out my travel journal playlist link in the description box below. It's filled with process videos, tips, and techniques to help you document your own adventures. Until next time, happy journaling!